Can you say when the baby is due? Um, March, I think. March, is it? May. Is there any indication? May, is it? May? Sorry, May it's not May, is it? May indica- oh, it was March, what the f- You know, they say Conor McGregor is like a fine wine. He just gets better with age. But let's be real, he's also like a bottle of champagne that's always ready to pop. And boy, does he deliver some of the funniest moments in UFC history. Welcome back to the channel, folks. Today, we're diving back into the world of Conor McGregor to bring you the most hilarious moments you absolutely can't miss, part 2. This guy's charisma and personality have made him a massive star in the UFC, but let's not forget how he keeps us rolling on the floor with laughter. Are you ready? Let's get into it. How close are you guys to each other right now? Like, could you reach out and swing at each other right now, Conor? No, he's hiding somewhere. I don't know where the <laughs> f- <laughs> Connor, you tweeted out with the video of that jump shot that your confidence comes from your big ball sack. Can you elaborate on that? <laughs> Uh, again, I, re- I revert to my old friend, the truth. That's where my confidence comes from. <laughs> my big ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stop. I'm just motivated by movement and money, and the movement of money. Eddie said he was disappointed in the country of Ireland. What do you think about that? I don't give a fuck what Eddie says. Who gives a fuck? I run New York City. I'm a fucking pimp. Rocking Gucci Mick. And without me, this whole fucking ship sink. You should be thankful too. You got a bigger check now than fighting Dos Anjos. You've been a little penny check with that. My guy. check, my check. Don't talk about money, you're broke. <laughs> uh, I could easily switch you up now and go put you back on that 20, 20 and 20 if you want. But all I want is a thank you or even a little dance. You're welcome. Even a little welcome. dance. Dance for me, Nate. Dance for me. And don't look me in the eye when you dance. Did it ever cross your mind to try and convince Conor to maybe uh, not take the fight this weekend and just wait until UFC 200 for the biggest show? <laughs> you did shave your head after your last fight. What does it signify? Well, it signifies nothing. I, just, okay. I was looking in the mirror saying, I don't want to wake up. My hair is fucking annoying me. <laughs> See you later. Who do you think would give you the hardest fight out of anybody on stage? Right here. This guy TKO's people. When I knock people out, they don't fucking move. They're not... Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? You know damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? Um, oh my God. I'm going to talk about money because we are the business network and the, the business of the Ooh. U.S. and all that I'll take sort of over stuff. from here, Nate. You can bounce. <laughs> take, take a coffee break, Nate. And by coffee break, I mean bring no. me my oh. coffee. You've been mentioning that Conor McGregor is not a championship fighter. Uh, he only has two to three rounds, yet in your professional career, you've only went to the fifth round twice and lost one of them. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. That's the champ! That's the champ! I love it. That's the I fucking love champ right there! He has a soon and tell What's your question? With that. I love it. I love it. His no, question is, why are you talking, talking about? shit? Yeah. That's his question. Why the fuck you up there talking shit? Say it like it is, you're blessed. You're blessed that I chose you. You're blessed that I chose to whoop your ass next. Say it like a fucking is. They want you to give us a quick count to ten, both of you gentlemen, if you don't mind, just if you wouldn't mind counting to ten. Nate can only count to five. <laughs> ten. <laughs> oh, count to five, Nate, will you, if you can? You can. Who you up with that coffee? I ain't counting. How about and that? who do you up with that coffee? I know, like a toss money and numbers from with the, you all day, this, lady. This... Send me a picture, I'll see what you look like. No, no, no. Okay. To, uh, no, you don't want to see the picture. Uh, two more questions. Uh, this is the. <laughs> you know it was Tyrone's fault. Yeah, I yeah, heard that. So, yeah, maybe that's a sign of things to come. What are you worth today? There's people, there's people buried in the desert for less than that. that you know, you're, you're, you must think I trust you or something with these kind of, um, these kind of. <laughs> how much are you worth? How much, how much are you on? What's your, what's your wage? What's your monthly wage? Uh, I asked the questions, and so I wanted to know. But Nate, Nate, well, I also yes. like to ask what questions. are your financial... Was there one moment where you even surprised yourself and said, damn it, I'm better than I thought I was? 
I looked in the mirror this morning. I was like, damn, I'm better than I thought I was last night. What are your financial dreams? What do you? What to you means you've made it? I don't know. <laughs> Say it like it is, Nate. Will you, Bob? Who gives a f <laughs> Is this the money channel? Who the f is this shit? <laughs> I told you that to take you five. Absolutely did. This I told you to take five. <laughs> yeah. What was going through your mind watching Jose and, and Frankie? Because it looked like you were just on the edge of your seat there, ready to get back into the octagon immediately. I mean, no, edge of my seat, falling asleep. The last 20 seconds, I was screaming at both of them to fight. Really, the main thing to succeed in this game is to either be me or fight me. Everything else is peanuts. So ask Nate that. He knows that firsthand. I don't even know. I don't even... Next question. <laughs> the dream fight, there, there isn't really, you know, I'd, I just, I'd love to fight myself if, if I really could, I mean, imagine the numbers that one would do, if there was two of me. I feel Eddie, I've nothing against him. Careful, be careful. I've nothing against Edward. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Be careful. What you gonna do? Oh, whoa. You gonna do something over there? Be careful. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> I just enjoy. The conversations in the bank, the ladies at the bank, they treat me so damn nice and, 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 and people everywhere treat you so damn nice. What did you think Take about them stupid ass glasses off? Yeah. Make me. Make me. Make me. Make me. Make me. Make me. You took them off. You took them off. Fuck you. Connor, don't throw those fucking hands. Connor! Connor! What did you think about Eddie's fight against the Sonyas? This time, I'm preparing for a tall, lanky, ugly Mexican southpaw. I actually do really, really enjoy um, Vegas. I've buried three bodies clean out here. Um, so Saturday night will be a fourth body. The, the dirt is, is clean. You can scoop it up and stuff bodies in there easily. So I will continue to do that. Uh, Connor, can you tell us what you're going to do with the titles? Uh, Dana said today that you will keep the featherweight belt up until this fight. I'm going to wrap one on one shoulder, I'm going to wrap the other on the other shoulder, and you're going to need a fucking army to come take them belts off me. And one's going to be there, one's going to be there, and I'm going to be picking and choosing who I want to destroy next, and that's it. I'm a lion in there, and I'm going to eat little you people. alive. Your little gazelle friends are gonna be staring through the cage, looking at you getting, getting your carcass getting eaten alive, and they can do nothing. Out, huh, all they're gonna do is say, no we're never gonna cross this river again. You know, most people, when they get that red panty night on me, they ring home to their wife, baby, we did it. Baby, we did it. Nate rings Nick, baby, we did it. As long as I have my belt at the end, how I look is, I, it, it's unimportant to me. How this guy looks is very important to him. Hey, You're damn right. That my socks were wood more than your whole suit you had on, you little bum. You broke <laughs> I'll gut you like a fish, you <laughs> tick. 170 was my call. The next day I said, you know, now no, things no, no, change. No, you, you guys want to call back. You, you don't make any calls. You only answer the call. Don't act like it was your call, motherfucker. I'm calling that shot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no shots, mate. Let's, let's, let's be honest here. They all have sore vaginas lately. It's crazy. There's something going on. I don't know. Dos Anjos broke his foot and his vagina in the same damn day. And same with, same with Edgar. Imagine getting the biggest fight in the history of the game and saying, shut your mouth, kid. You're getting paid what you got your last fight. And you're lucky you're even getting that. Yes, sir. And sign it. I wasn't going to, I was going to negotiate the money. Because <laughs> this, this guy's easy. Coach is an author. He's an author of a book. Best-selling book. We do it all. We do it all. It's a bestseller. We're not there, baby. Connor, there used to be a very large poster of um, Floyd Mayweather on the front of the MGM Grand. I might go up there and rip it down myself. And what's he going to do about it? What's he going to do? He can do nothing. Did you ever move up to welterweight and try and get a third belt, if you could? All the belts. So, to wrap it all up, we've just seen some of the funniest moments from Conor McGregor. From his outrageous press conferences to his unforgettable one-liners, these moments really highlight how he's not just a fighter but a true entertainer. His larger-than-life persona keeps us laughing, and it's all part of what makes him so special in the UFC universe. Now, I want to hear from you. What was your favorite moment from today's video? 
Let me know in the comments below. And if you miss part 1, be sure to check it out for even more laughs. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more hilarious content.